Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. So I'm going to review on Silver Lightning McQueen, who's obviously from the Silver Racers series. There's a nice picture of McQueen, the classic, classic image that they use for like all their, are they using their like 2006 promotional stuff um, for the movie, and they've used this image since 2006, so uh, yeah, classic, classic image of McQueen there. Let's see, Lightning McQueen, I think that's... Uh, I think that's uh, Spanish. I think that's flat. Or I think Flash McQueen is Spanish. Actually, I, maybe that one's French. Actually, I think. I think uh, I, th I thought Flash McQueen was Spanish, but usually they put Spanish second. So I'm assuming it's like Spanish, but French, Portuguese, and I think that one's French. So I don't know. Uh, I thought that one was Spanish, but maybe that's Spanish and that's Portuguese. I don't. Not exactly sure though. And. Um, They've had the uh, 95 McQueen logo there since the start, so we kind of knew we were going to get McQueen. And uh, we did get one, but I'll talk about, you know, why it's a little disappointing that we got this one in particular. Uh, Stylish and Speedy, the Shining Racers pay homage to the roots of racing. And there you can see Silver Collection. Did a review on these other four. And I actually have one more Silver Racer to review from 2020, and it's right here near me. Uh, actually, I found it at Target uh, not really that long ago. Uh, Silver Raul Saru. Um, you can see that before in the back there. So I think he's in the same case with Metallic now, Rob. And I uh, found found him, and I found Fabulous Hudson Hornet. Um, I look tired, but I didn't find it Metallic Snot Rod, which was kind of disappointing. But uh, yeah, here's uh, let's get McQueen out of the package. Uh, when's this copyright? Twenty nineteen. Like checking the copyright dates. And uh, here he is out of the package. The eyes look terrible on that, not gonna lie. Uh, it is a talent release. Like, the way they're, like, you can see a gap in there, that looks pretty bad. Um, and 12 is when he was made, so 12th week of this year, so end of March. Um, so the reason this release is kind of a little disappointing is because uh, this release was already made. Um, McQueen, like this type of McQueen, so McQueen was already made in, I think, 2013 for, like, a German promotional, like, a German promotional piece or, like, around that area in Europe as a promotional piece. Um, so, you know, I, collectors were kind of hoping they'd make, like, a Cars 3. Like, a uh, Cars 3 so McQueen. This one would have looked pretty cool in silver, this one right here. Yeah, I'd have liked to see this as a silver racer, but they just re-released the same same one they've already done, the uh, Cars one one, which uh, I guess uh, you know I I could see them doing this. I you know I guess I don't blame them, but at the same time I kind of blame them. So McQueen here is a very nice silver racer because as you know I like silver racers that have basically their whole like body be silver, and he's pretty nice because he's bit mostly red, and they just took the red and silverized all the red, so he's definitely very silver, way more silver than some racers over here. Uh, so he obviously has the Rusty's bumper ointment sticker on the hood. The lightning bolt right there. Uh, stickers for headlights. Obviously, there's the 95. He does look pretty happy, though. That expression is kind of a little weird. And yeah, I brought out, like, the original McQueen that I've had since, like, I think, two, like, this is the one that came out in 2006, I believe. And I think I've had it since then. So yeah, it's kind of chipped, but it's going to do the job. But I decided to bring this one out for this specific review because why not let's bring out the first mcqueen um so yeah there's the rusty's Medi medicaid bump portman the expression is a little different and the eyes look pretty bad not gonna lie those eyes yeah um i do like the silver rims though obviously they did change the rims uh, usually he has red rims i would like to see like a mcqueen with like black rims um i i'm almost certain it's been done at one point but like i don't know i think that would look pretty cool Like, he had, like, black, black, not, like, gray rims like this or the ones he had in the World Grand Prix. Like, a red McQueen with black rims. I don't know. That might look pretty cool. Um, there you can see all the sponsors on the side. Bunch of them. not going to read them all, but you can see uh, Easy Idle there, Gaskets, Gasper and Leakless, and uh, Clutch Aid. Not actually sure what that one is can't tell what that is <laughs> uh there's 95 of the lightning bolts obviously rusty's medicaid bump ointment rusty's medicaid bump ointment he's got the uh, yellow stripe 
for his rookie stripe, obviously. Now the taillights. Uh, he doesn't have a deck lid, but he's got the Rusty's logo on the spoiler. And I think, yeah, you can see this is this is a very early release because he doesn't have the Rusty's text here. Um, because the first ones that came out didn't have the Rusty's text. Uh, they didn't put that on there. And then after that, they uh did correct it and make the uh, Rusty's text. Um, so yeah, there's the other side of him. There's the roof, the Light McQueen signature, and the number 95. So, let's compare him to his regular version. Uh, one that is uh, full of chips, obviously. Um, I do have another. I think I have a couple others of, uh, of him. I also have, like, the Precision Series one, which I would uh, prefer to keep with my uh, Precision Series town anyway, so... Um, with the opening hood. So we'll compare him to uh, this one later as well. But um, yeah. So obviously you can definitely tell the rims are changed from red to uh, silver. And you can obviously tell you just got silverized. The whole red portion of them got silverized. See maybe these. This is going to show us. I think that's retread. Yeah it has to be retread. Yeah, that's got to be retread. Maybe this one will be even more clear. Yeah, that that uh, that has to be retread there. On the uh, side there. Tile in there, coming in with some terrible graphics again. Yeah, this side not looking good, but uh, you can definitely see that how they silverized it. And yeah, so I uh, definitely just took the red and silverized it, including the rims. And, you know, I like that, that they did... Uh, did I uh, silverize most of him. Uh, let's compare him to the Precision Series version here. Because why not? Obviously, the Precision Series one is a little more, like, thick, like chunkier almost. Like, I don't know. More thicker. Maybe because of, because of the wheels. Uh, the wheels are very big. I'm not sure why they're this big. Um, but he seems a little more uh, thicker. Um, obviously, the opening hood. Very nice. But... Uh, Spoiler is a bit bigger as well, it looks like. I don't know, he just seems like he's he's obviously bigger. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. It's not like they had to put any lights in here or anything. I think they just made the wheels too big for some reason. But uh, he does look pretty nice. But he does look a little big, honestly. Um, that's kind of a drawback for me. Uh, from this one is that he's pretty big, uh, abnormally big for McQueen. Here's uh, Cars 3 McQueens that I brought out. Uh, we've got the, uh, like, I think they called this Rusty's McQueen and they called this Cars 3 McQueen, even though he didn't really appear in these paint schemes for either of these paint schemes for very, very long. And this was the one he started out in. And this was kind of his redemption scheme. Um, I do prefer this one though, I don't know why. Uh, I like the yellow trim, and I like the rusties because you know this is different. This kind of goes back to this, uh, whereas this is different. So I, I prefer this one. But uh, yeah, there's that. And let's compare them to some other silver racers. Notably, uh, let's get Chick Hicks and the King up here. Got all three Piston Cup racers, which is very nice. Are the main Piston Cup racers from Cars One, which is obviously very very cool. Now he is compared to Dynaco Cruz. Again, this is where a car is three would be cool. Um, here he is, is some uh, World Grand Prix racers. Uh, Raul Sarul, I probably do a review on that one. He's also a re-release. Right now, he's not even a variation. Um, these two are variations because of the rim color. Um, Raul wasn't even a variation. So they kind of, you know, started high and then they kind of finished low with the last two. Although I think he may have been released before Silver Cruise, but two last two two of the last three uh, were misses, kind of. And uh, here he is next to some next gens, Jackson Storm and Tim Treadless. I do like Tim Treadless um, because of the metallic paint um, in the back. He's kind of silver and metallic. Uh, Miguel's probably my least favorite. Maybe actually Rebel's probably can be my least favorite. Uh, I do like the paint, but obviously it had been way more silverized to be a silver eraser. Um, but I think they just took like the 
black part or like the dark orange part. Uh, they definitely took one color and he's more two colors. So yeah. For Tim there, and here he is compared to another McQueen, kind of new McQueen that was released recently. A variation of McQueen that was released recently uh, in the RS24 hour endurance race McQueen. That uh, has been one of my favorite McQueens. Like, yeah. I like this uh, RS24 hour endurance race line. Like I said in my video, you can go check that out. And uh, yeah, do let me know which of these two McQueens is your favorite. I obviously have to go with the uh, RS24 hour endurance race, but. Uh, let me know down in the comments. And that should about wrap up my video on Silver Lightning McQueen. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Click that like, like button, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye-bye.